The amazing invention of the James Webb Space Telescope has all but startled the astronomers and their understanding of our universe. Since its launch, the JWST has taken numerous images showing countless galaxies, appearing as they did just a few hundred million years ago after the Big Bang. Stay with us till the end as we tell you how the JWST has now detected light of remote objects at the edge of the universe. First envisioned in the 1980s, the JWST was originally expected to launch around 2007 at an estimated cost of $1 billion. However, the lengthy delays in its production resulted in JWST launching almost 14 years later and at a total cost of around $10 billion. Replacing the Hubble telescope, this NASA-led venture involves the US, Canada, and Europe, making JWST the most potent telescope in history. JWST travels 1.5 million kilometers from Earth to orbit the Sun around a stable point and has the ability to view objects 100 times fainter as compared to its predecessor. A tennis court-sized sun shield shields its enormous gold-coated primary mirror, which provides never-before-seen views of the universe in infrared light. As the telescope began its full operations in July of 2022, Amazing views from all throughout the cosmos began to flood down almost immediately, which included pictures of distant galaxies at the beginning of time and breathtaking vistas of nebulae, the dust-filled cradles of stars. Not only that, an international team of astronomers found some of the furthest galaxies confirmed to date using information from the James Webb Space Telescope. These galaxies date back to fewer than 400 million years after the Big Bang at which time the universe was barely 2% of its present age. Furthermore, initial JWST observations also revealed a number of candidate galaxies at even greater distances, four of which have been verified by acquiring lengthy spectroscopic observations, which not only allow astronomers to characterize the physical characteristics of the galaxies, but also provide a secure assessment of their distance. It is worth mentioning that it is a common phenomenon for astronomers to determine the distance of a galaxy from Earth by calculating its redshift. Now, you must be wondering what a redshift actually is. Redshift is a process that tells us the light emitted by the oldest of stars and galaxies, whether it is visible or ultraviolet light, actually shifts to redder wavelengths by the time it reaches us. That means that the visible light is typically displaced towards the near and mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum for very high redshifts. And the further the light has traveled, the greater its redshift. The recent discoveries by JWST concentrate on four galaxies that have a redshift greater than 10. As we know, the Hubble telescope's initial observations of two galaxies have been confirmed to have redshifts of 10.38 and 11.58. The JWST found the two most distant galaxies with redshifts of 13.20 and 12.63, both of which were found in JWST images and their distance has been confirmed by spectroscopy. To put it in simpler terms, a redshift of 13.2 dates back to a time period of roughly 13.2 billion years ago. Interestingly enough, many other teams around the world have discovered candidate galaxies at similar higher redshifts although those have not yet been verified by spectroscopy. As a result of these discoveries, scientists are starting to reconsider how galaxies started and evolved. According to the current theories, galaxies started out as little clouds of stars and dust that developed through time. However, with these recent discoveries, it is very possible that the galaxies expanded swiftly, opposed to the general consensus. While all of this is up for debate, the only possible way to be sure about it is to capture a spectrum image of the galaxies, which includes dividing light into different wavelengths to characterize various elements and gauge the true distance of the galaxies. Apart from these galaxies, the James Webb Space Telescope looked right into the atmosphere of the enormous exoplanet known as VHS 1256b. This revelation of intriguing exoplanet data is a result of JWST's exceptional capacity to gather thorough spectra of celestial objects. Although JWST has previously displayed the spectra of exoplanets to us, this is the first instance in which it has done so by directly viewing the planet, a technique known as direct imaging. About 40 light years away from Earth, VHS 1256b is around 19 times as massive as Jupiter, orbits two stars rather than just one, 
and completes one orbit of its host stars about every 10,000 years. Since the planet is four times further from its stars as Pluto is from the Sun, the light is not mingled with that of its stars, which makes VHS 1256b a fantastic target for JWST. The planet has silicate clouds, which occasionally shower down into the planet's interior and move through an environment that is roughly 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. JWST has discovered silicate dust particles of various sizes within those clouds, which are displayed on a spectrum. The bigger silicate granules are referred to as very hot, while little particles and finer grains resemble tiny smoke particles. Throughout its 22-hour day, the atmosphere of VHS 1256b is continuously rising, blending, and flowing, pushing colder stuff downward and pulling warmer material above. As the accompanying brightness variations are so abrupt, this is the most changeable planetary mass object known to us. The biggest discovery by JWST so far on VHS 1256b has been water. The telescope found water, methane, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide, making this the most molecules ever discovered at once on a planet outside of our solar system. This evidence alone is enough that in the coming months and years, many teams will continue to sort through Webb's high-resolution infrared data, trying to learn more about VHS 1256b. Along with VHS 1256b, JWST also focused on the scorching world of WASP-39b, which orbits a star about 700 light years from Earth. Even though the planet was found a long time ago, the observing team discovered a distant signal of carbon dioxide, a chemical that is abundant on Earth, but has rarely been detected in the atmosphere of an exoplanet. Carbon dioxide is a crucial marker of plant and animal life on Earth. WASP-39b has been long deemed as too hot to be habitable. But this discovery might be the first of many fascinating discoveries in the future, coming from worlds with more stable climates. It is important to mention that these discoveries were made possible with the help of two pieces of equipment on board the web. The Near Infrared Camera, aka NearCam, and the Near Infrared Spectrograph, often referred to as NearSpec. Interestingly, the primary inspiration behind the design of these instruments was the study of the weakest and oldest galaxies. With all these discoveries, it is quite clear that JWST has made big strides in a very short period of time. Since a large portion of JWST's data is accessible to anyone, the astronomical community can search through it practically as quickly as it's added. This was made possible with years of planning that went into establishing algorithms that could quickly transform its data into information that could be used by astronomers. The telescope's operators have also improved upon the lessons discovered by Hubble, squeezing as many observations into the telescope as they can. Furthermore, about 80% of JWST's programs have a proprietary term, giving the researchers conducting them exclusive access to their data for 12 months. As a result, scientists can thoroughly examine their own data before disseminating it to the general public, especially smaller groups that lack the resources of large institutions. All in all, JWST is projected to fundamentally alter our understanding of the distant universe, exoplanets, planet formation, galaxy structure, and more. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, show some love and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.